Okay, we're back at day two at Hadoop World Live in New York City, and this is The Cube, our flagship telecast at SiliconAngle.com, SiliconAngle.tv. I'm John Furrier, the founder of SiliconAngle, and I'm here with my co-host. I'm Dave Vellante of Wikibon.org. As John said, this is day two, our continuous coverage of Hadoop World 2011, John. <laughs> Dave, it's been a great uh, great event. It's uh, We're here for year two. Last year we were here with The Cube, and uh, you know, we got to watch uh, Cloudera and the ecosystem of Hadoop and big data grow massively mainstream in the past year. We had great guests on yesterday, Mike Olson, the CEO of Cloudera. We had the co-founder, Amr Awadala, co-founder, Jeff Hammerbacher. We even had the uh, the co-founders who, who left Cloudera to start uh, Weeby Data on. We had a ton of great guests, and, and we are getting all the, the stories, the top stories here on theCUBE, top trends, and we're going to make some predictions today. So, you know, watch all day today. We're going to be broadcasting uh, all day uh, till 6 o'clock uh, Eastern time, so stay tuned here in theCUBE. But Dave, I want to ask you, what was your impression yesterday in terms of, uh, you know, coming back from a year later? What was your impression? John, I think as we talked about yesterday, Hadoop is going more mainstream. It's still early days, but uh, we're seeing the maturity of the whole ecosystem. We're seeing Cloudera uh, being really confident, in my opinion, in terms of their position in the marketplace, uh, what their, uh, their relationship is with the community and the ecosystem, the commitment that Cloudera has to the ecosystem. So that came through, I think, very strongly today. The other thing is, uh, the practitioners that we talk to uh, uh, from Facebook, and we have many others on today, we have Edmonds coming on, Nokia, and, and a number of others, are actually using Hadoop uh, in real business cases to cut costs, increase revenue, I mean, really the things that are going to drive adoption in the commercial enterprise versus sort of the, the lunatic fringe, if you will. Yeah, and the other observations I noticed yesterday was uh, the focus of applications. So, obviously the big news yesterday was uh, Cloudera got an, another additional fat financing of $40 million. Excel Partners announced a $100 million big data fund. And you're seeing a slew of new applications come out and you're seeing a real focus on these I would call them kind of point solutions around analytics, business intelligence, and just overall growth in innovative software. So the conversation is shifting to a platform of, of Hadoop for big data, where tools and applications are going to be the focus for this next year. And you're seeing a lot of investment, a lot of activity, and you got the big players coming in. You know, you have Aster Data, Teradata, you see Dell here, HP Vertica's here, and a slew of other startups. <coughs> Noticeably absent is EMC. Um, EMC is not here, they don't have a booth. Um, they do, are doing some guerrilla marketing. They had a bus last night that uh, took people off site to a different uh, party. It's a little, in a way, kind of hijacking the event, but so EMC is here in their own presence, but kind of a gesture of uh, non-support for uh, this event. And so that was interesting. I just you know saw that and, and made a mental note not a big presence by EMC, uh, but NetApp is here, announced uh, their deal with Cloudera, uh, and distribution of CDH and you know, licensing, a uh, reseller deal, um, and trying to be open. So you know, NetApp has their play. But you're seeing a lot of the big vendors, and you're seeing a lot of the startups uh, coming in. And, and we'll hear from Abhi Mehta today, for, uh, who's going to talk about his startup. So yep. just overall, really dynamic ecosystem. The other observation that I would share is there seems to be peace in the ecosystem around Apache. So there's no real war going on around Apache. I think you got consensus from everyone that Apache's pretty solid. Everyone's committed to that open source paradigm. Yet people will differentiate with products that suit their needs around their solutions, and uh, whether it's you know transactional uh, systems and or legacy systems or existing systems, and then the newer solutions will be built on top of the Hadoop platform. I, th I think Jeff Hammerbucker really summed it up well yesterday when he said, as a practitioner at, f at Facebook, he was really frustrated with the fact that all the investment and all the money that was getting sucked into the container was problematic. Uh, and so they set out, he and Amr Awadala and others set out to, to really solve that problem. And, and so you're starting to see that innovation, as you were saying, in the application layer. I'll make this point though, John, anytime you have a robust ecosystem like you do with Hadoop, like certainly you do with VMware, there are opportunities across the entire stack in hardware and software and services, and you're clearly seeing that here. There's no question in my mind that that, that Ping Lee's $100 million fund is going to go to all those areas. Uh, we have a tendency, obviously, to focus on the applications because they're interesting and sexy, uh, but there's a lot of plumbing and innovation that's still going to take place there, so there's lots and lots of opportunity for hardware, software, and services. And what's also great about this year is that you're seeing that, you know, you got Apache Core, but you're seeing a lot of other products, Pig, Hive, Uzi, um, Mahout is getting a lot of traction here. So you're seeing a lot of new elements wrapped around um, Apache Core, uh, and so 
the ecosystem of the open source is really in in good shape, in my opinion. So I don't really see a problem there. But overall, um, just really cool posturing and positioning by vendors to really deliver solutions. I thought uh, as well, for those of you who weren't able to watch yesterday, if you go back yesterday and look at Amar, uh, Amar Awadallah's segment, he really took us, John, through the stack in great detail, uh, the different projects and the different open source components that, uh, that they're working on. And then, of course, the other thing I would add is the other thing Jeff Hammerbacher said, to pick up on your point, John, about competition, uh, he said, when people are writing code for open source, I'm happy. <laughs> that's a good thing. Yeah, yeah. And, the uh, contributors, yeah, I mean, yeah. And so that's EM the spirit. EMC, of NetApp, ecosystem. and other companies are actually are contributing to the open source, and that is notable. And, and his view is on the competition question, which is certainly he was heat up from last year, is that they feel comfortable, they're not worried. Cloudera is clearly saying, hey, we get a good sizable lead. If we take care of our business and Hadoop grows, we'll have a big share of that and maintain that number one.